Hello, I'm Kevin Goyette here at Westboro TV. Following this year's midterms, we want to get some insight on thoughts about the exa exams from a couple of teachers and students. Going to you, Gianluca, who will now be speaking with Ms. Biggs about her experience. Okay. Um, I'm here with Ms. Biggs, the chemistry teacher, and I have three questions for you. So the first one is, um, since chemistry is a mandatory midterm, um, if it were up to you individually, would you like still to, uh, choose to do the midterm? So it was up to me and Ms. Patch and Ms. Thomas individually. The three of us agreed. We had a choice. Nobody told us which way we had to do it, but we agreed that honors chemistry should be a mandatory exam, both mid-year and final exam. And so it's not up to me. I'm only one third of that equation, but we agreed. All of us voted the same way. I mean, we didn't vote, but we came to a consensus that we think it's the right thing. Thank you, Ms. Biggs and Gianluca, for giving us the opportunity to talk about the mandatory midterms and how the perception of students and teachers can generally be seen. We will now go into Morgan, who is speaking with Ella about her midterm process. Over to you, Morgan. Hi, I'm Morgan Boudreau, and I'm with Ella Glasgow, and we just took the chemistry midterm. How do you think you did on it? I really have no idea. Can you make any predictions on what percent you got? Um, hopefully, I'm aiming, hopefully I get like a 75. That's the goal. It was really hard because so much just came on the paper and I was like, oh gosh, I forgot about this. But I mean, I did all I could do while studying. And yeah, so now it's just... I guess we'll see when the scan on comes back. Yeah, so what did you do for prepping for the spit test? Okay, so I started off by looking at all the slides and all of the openers. And then after that, I went in and did some like quiz questions and did like the heating unit because that's the most hard for me. And then stayed after school the last few days, really just focused on chemistry. That's really productive. I hope Thank you, you did well. I know we did. Well, I hope you did well today. Thank you. Thank you, Morgan and Ella, for giving us a little more insight on the students' midterm process and experience. Now we'll turn our attention to the seniors. As we will be moving to semester two, and most seniors have completed their college applications and solidified their future plans, where will that leave them in semester two? We will now turn to Morgan, speaking with a few class of 2024 students about their perspectives on this topic. Thanks, Kevin. I'm here with Fiona Rice, a current senior at Westboro High School, and I'm going to ask her a few questions about going into the last semester as a high school student. So, what are you most excited for going into the last semester of high school? Um, I'm excited for graduation and senior ball and spending time with all my friends. Awesome. What are you most nervous for for the last semester? Um, I'm nervous to say goodbye to Westboro High School because, you know, been here so long. Yeah. And what was the best part about going to high school here? Um, probably just all the friends I made and all the fun things that Whisper High School has to offer. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Here with Danny Arcieri, and I'm going to ask her some questions about going into her last semester of high school. So, what are you most excited for going into your last semester of high school then? Um, I'm really excited to just have more time to kind of relax and hang out with my friends. Um, and also like other fun projects like Mean Girls, and Cole, stuff like that. Yeah, what are you most no nervous for? <laughs> I'm still nervous to like get back some of my college like acceptances or potential uh, referrals and stuff. So that's still out in the air because I did some regular decision. But other than that, um, just generally trying to keep up with my classes and like take it easy. Got it. And what was the best part of high school? Just any day that I got to like hang out with my friends and see them and like interactions in the hallways or like having the same class with somebody that you know, you get to really connect with people, that's nice. Great, thank you. Thank you. Wow, it was great to hear your experience, thank you. Now we'll turn to our Morgan, who will be speaking with Mr. Brown, an English teacher here at Westboro High School, as well as the graduating class of 2024 advisor, about his perspective on seniors and their feelings towards semester two. Over to you, Morgan. Thanks, Kevin. Now I'm here with Mr. Brown to interview him about the current senior class. What is one big difference or development you see in between your uh, freshman class and your senior class? 
I guess the biggest one is just maturity, right? So as the kids get older, they start thinking more about their future. They just mature as individuals anyways. They're a little bit better with hygiene. My freshmen need some hygiene work, uh, whereas my seniors maybe have figured that part out a little bit. But yeah, no, it's the maturity. It, it's the maturity and looking more towards their future and what that's gonna ultimately look like. Got it, that makes sense. That's an interesting perspective, Mr. Brown. Thank you for speaking with us. This has been Kevin Goyette signing off from Studio 33 at Westboro TV.